There are moments in life where hope is distant. Thousands of miles away, out of sight and out of mind. Clouded by doubts and desperation. Separated by oceans of distance. N'ayez pas peur de donner, car ce que vous recevez est inimaginable. Joie. Les vos sens de celui qui est l'impact de ce qu'il fait. Imagine starting your day. You start your day, you brush your teeth, you use two gallons of water, you flush the toilet, you use four gallons, you take a shower, it's 12 to 20 gallons. You go downstairs or you go to your kitchen, you're gonna make a cup of coffee or some tea, you're gonna use a couple of gallons there. You're gonna start the dishwasher or maybe you're gonna start the wash machine. Before you even leave the house, you've used literally hundreds of gallons of water. Now imagine living in a place where you don't have access to clean water. You don't have ability to do all those things that you like to do, or you have to go a kilometer or a mile or two miles to even get a five gallon bucket of water. Imagine what life would be like without clean water. Water is life. Now imagine having to go to get water in a, in a cattle pond, and you've got all these problems that are along with that. You've got waterborne diseases like typhoid or dysentery that you're fighting constantly. You're constantly sick. When we put a water well in Africa, it changes the life of that community. It changes the life of that region. It changes the life of generations to come. That's why we say water is life. I had a health issue this week. I've got a clot in my, below my knee, a DVT in my, my knee. I was able to get medicine to anticoagulate me. But I can say that while driving out here, 12 kilometers down a hard to pass road, We're really remote. And as I came back, Scott even asked me, he said, how are you doing, Jeff? And it was like a prophetic question for me because I was in the back of this bus, not doing well. I'm like, we are getting further and further away from a center that could help me with pulmonary embolism. If you'd have a PE out here, you know, I just talked about it. I'm toast. There's a cemetery right around the corner, so that's a convenience, but there's no medical services. Si vous construisez une église ici, ça va contribuer au changement de toute la localité, comme je viens de le dire. C'est important d'implanter votre église ici, avoir une base ici. He said, yeah, then you can, you can, you can put, a, put a church here and you can start a church here and you can have pastors here and you can have a growing community of disciples here. Franchement, c'est un plaisir. Parce que quand on va eh, essayer de, de, de faire étendre le royaume de Dieu dans ce village, beaucoup de mentalités vont changer. Beaucoup de personnes vont quand même avoir Jésus dans leur vie. Et ce qui amènera une modification totale de cette eh, localité. Yeah, he said, that, I mean, it's going to change this entire community. It's going to, a lot of people are now all of a sudden going to be exposed to who God is who his son Jesus Christ is, and as a result, it's going to transform this, this community and the lives of literally hundreds. You are welcome. les bienvenus. les bienvenus. Water. A gift that should be definite. But for some, it's so far away. Distance is the matter of life, rather than convenience. The access for sons, daughters, mothers, fathers. 
family. Not by blood, but by the connection and the needs of one another. Joy brought to those in need. To those who have given and witnessed change beneath. To give in return you receive. Joy. Dedication of this water well is essential because what it does is it puts us one step closer to putting in a health center in that part of Africa. And so that health center will, will be there to help moms and babies not only survive, keep them from dying, but thrive. And I think of one story where after we had dedicated this health center, this lady stopped me, she grabbed me, she was very passionate. She said, this has changed my life, but it's not only changed my life, it's changed the life of my daughter and my granddaughter. I remember thinking how impactful that is in the life of not only her life, but the entire community for generations to come. So a water well is a starting point that provides us an opportunity to put in a health center that then impacts generations to come and allows moms and babies to live and to thrive. L'eau, c'est la vie. Today we visited an orphanage. God is gracious. When Mama Yada looks over the children of Togo, West Africa, whose families have since been separated due to life's toughest battles, the loss of a parent, mental illness, and violent conditions. Family by blood is no longer, but the family created here is everlasting. God is gracious. Yes. Yes.
Dieu, conduis-nous et guide-nous dans ta direction. but it's also, in a weird way, very gratifying to see all the love and the passion and how well these guys have been taken care of. Um, and this is just purely based on faith. Smiles, hugs, as soon as we walked in, complete strangers, and here they are just loving on us, and it, it's, it, it is very amazing. second we got out of the van, this little girl just ran up and held on to me like she knew me her whole life and like she was so excited to see me and immediately I had tears. Coming here to these children who have no parents, um, it just breaks my heart. Honestly, I want to take them all home with me. Being able to make them laugh and happy is one of the best things. <laughs> In search for answers, patience is required, not needed, but forced upon the lives of thousands, preparing the way for the needs and the paths to fulfillment through the courage of giving time, resources, heavy hearts, and fearless love, joy. Received, but the receiver is recognized, unexpected as the heart was protected by the inherited ideas of joy and the misguided meaning of it. Joy. Joy was present and return enhanced, shared through laughter, connection, health, and callings greater than one knows. Joy. All of the people that are in this area, they don't really have anything that they can go to and actually utilize. I mean, it was going down a dirt road, and even when you look around here, it's like wide open spaces. But all of the 100,000 people that are in this area depend upon this location for simple things like, for instance, their number one drug that they give out, ibuprofen. That is something that's really impactful when you look at how you're in you're affecting all of these people within this area. And it's only going to start growing. Two or three kilometers. Kilometers can carry it. Oh. 
En réalité, si elle vient, je, je la mets dans l'autosage. So, over there, where they start, you commence là-bas. Oui. Et quand c'est prêt, on vient ici. Il faut faire vite parce que eh, j'ai envie d'accoucher celles qui vont accoucher dans la profonde nuit parce que il y a d'autres qui ne vont pas m'appeler au téléphone. J'ai donné mon numéro. Si elles sont les contractions, elles vont m'appeler. Mais il y a d'autres, peut-être elles ne pourront pas appeler. Mais si je suis dans le sang, je dors dans le sang, même à 1h du matin, 2h du matin, mon collier, on va venir faire. Another question we asked the midwife was, what's next for us? And she said she needs two C-section rooms. And so we said, what's that going to cost? And they said $100,000. And I said, we're going to get that. For the amount of lives that we're going to impact, that's a small donation. Mm -hmm. So both of us kind of looked at each other and we're like, yeah, we're going to do it. We asked the midwife about her favorite story, and her favorite story was the first birth that they had here, and how she was not only able to save the mother's, but the child's life. Those two lives alone make every penny that we've been able to raise worth it. Et elle était très contente parce que elle avait peur parce que le, le terme dépassait. Et là où elle, faisait, elle suivait les consultations prénatales, on, on disait que probablement elle va avoir une césarienne. Donc c'est comme ça que on a eu notre premier accouchement. Et si le centre n'était pas là, elle devait aller à Thévier. Et peut-être qu'on n'aura pas l'idée de lui faire le décollement du, fait, du pôle inférieur. Et voilà, peut-être qu'elle va finir avec une césarienne. Our vision is to put in these health centers all over West Africa, not only in Togo, but in Benin and Ivory Coast and all throughout West Africa. These parts of rural Africa that have no access to clean water and no maternal or pediatric care. Our vision is that moms and babies will not die, but will thrive in generations to come. An enfant est né, et une autre occasion de s'épanouir est donnée. One of the most exciting things that happens is when people come back from Togo is they all have that same feeling that they're going to go there to help other people. What they don't expect is they're given a gift, and that's the gift of joy. Because joy lives below the surface. It's not about what happens to you that day, whether you get a flat tire, you can still have joy, or you find five dollars, that's happiness, that's not joy. And what the people of Africa have is they have a sense of joy. When you go there, that they don't have much to celebrate, but you give somebody a soccer ball, and they're extremely thankful. Even without the soccer ball, they have joy. And I think that's one of the most amazing things that happens when you go down there.
One of the things I really enjoy doing is just going up to somebody with Incomplete, because they know that the trips to Africa are there, and just say, hey, would you like to go to, would you like to, go to Africa? And they kind of first are like, well, uh, I, that sounds like an amazing opportunity, but I don't, going to Africa is a big deal. But I just like to challenge people, because once they kind of settle in and they get over their anxiety of it, going down there, there's nothing I can say on this film that can explain the feeling that you get in the change in your life that happens when you go to Africa and come back. The only way to experience is actually going. Merci beaucoup pour votre soutien et support. Les changements, c'est maintenant. La joie est présente. If I could say anything to, and I'm assuming, Tim, you're going to be putting this in front of all the owners. This is amazing. You got you, you to gotta go here um, if you have ever a chance. Um, 